Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There are several tools for use in formatting the handwritten notes and drawings that you create in Microsoft OneNote. In order to format your objects, you must first be able to select them. Click the Type button in the ribbon. And remember, if you're using version 2010 or earlier, that's called Select and Type instead, which will switch us to the Type mode. Now, as you move your mouse over the content area, it will look like an I-beam. To select an object, just click anywhere on the edge of the note or drawing until you see a dotted line appear around the object. And you'll notice that sometimes, especially when you're dealing with smaller objects, you might have to move your mouse around a little bit and click until you find that edge. Now when you do, you will see a dotted line appear around the object and the interior of the object will be shaded gray and resizing handles will appear around the edge of the object. Now unlike other Microsoft applications, you cannot hold down the control key on your keyboard to click and select multiple objects. However, you can select multiple objects by clicking and dragging in a rectangular selection area. Let's try this. We'll go out here and we'll click to deselect that, and then we'll click and drag to create a selection area. Now, as you create that selection area, and as objects are selected in the area that you're creating, they too will become shaded gray like we see here you'll see we've selected them all now. Now you can also click the Lasso Select tool in the Tools group to click and drag to create an irregular selection. Go ahead and give that a click. Your cursor this time will turn into a little crosshairs and then you can click and drag around to create an irregular shape and make your selection that way. Now, in both cases, you must encompass the entire object in order for it to be selected. This type of selection can come in handy when selecting handwritten notes. Each stroke that you make with the pen tool becomes a unique object. So the U, the P, the S, and the question mark are all individual objects. So for example, if you wanted to change an entire signature or a word like we have here, you can click and drag or use the Lasso Select tool, as we just learned, to select each of the strokes in the word or signature to make your changes. Now to move an object, hover over it until your cursor turns into a four-sided arrow, and then click and drag and then release where you want to move the object. If you want to resize the object, Hover over any of the resizing handles until your cursor turns into a double-sided arrow, and then click and drag and then release to change the size of your object. Once an object is selected, you can use the various commands to further format the object. For example, you can click the Pen Properties button to launch the dialog box of the same name in the toolbar that we'll look at in just a second. And here we can switch between the pen and the highlighter modes as well as choose a thickness and even change the color. But you could also use any of the objects in the ribbon to make changes as well. So for example, you could delete the object, you could rotate or flip it, and you can even change the arrangement of objects on your notebook pages. Now, much like Microsoft PowerPoint slides, the pages of OneNote contain objects that can overlap and create stacks of objects. Sometimes you may wish to change the order of a stack. In the Edit group, you will find the Arrange button drop-down that will allow you to change the placement of the selected image on the page. So we'll go up here into our edit group and we'll use the arrange drop down. You can click to bring forward, 
bring to front, send backward, or send back to change the order in which the objects overlap each other in the stack. As you're moving around on your pages, you may find it helpful to use the panning hand tool to move around on the page instead of using the scroll bars. Let's give that command a click and we'll see what it does. Once you click the panning hand button in the tools group, the cursor will turn into a small hand. You can then click and drag to move the page around to view the various elements. Now, inevitably, you will find times when you wish to erase all or parts of a drawing or written note. If you click the Eraser drop-down in the Tools group, you'll see four different options. The first three are erasers of different sizes. We have small, medium, and large. You can choose whatever size you wish to perform your specific task. Then, just click and drag over the note or drawing to erase the area in the square that represents the eraser you choose. Now let's take a look at that drop down again. Let's go back to eraser because there is a fourth option and that is stroke eraser. When you select this option you can erase an entire stroke of a pen on your page with just one click. Once selected, you can hover over a note or drawing and single click on a line to erase the entire stroke. Or you can drag the eraser across the edges of several different strokes to instantly erase them all. And that's how we format our written notes and drawings in OneNote. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.